2025 is almost here, and if your goal is to become a SOC analyst, this video is for you. I want to introduce you to a SOC training platform called Let's Defend, who are kindly sponsoring this video. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to take advantage of this platform for free. And I'll provide you with a generous discount code that you can use if you want to take your learnings to the next level. But before we jump right in, let me briefly introduce you to Let's Defend, just in case you have never heard of this platform before. On their site, Let's Defend is a training platform that helps you build a blue team career with hands-on experience by investigating real cyber attacks inside a simulated SOC. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I always harp on practical experiences. And Let's Defend not only provides labs, but also a simulated SOC experience. Now, in fact, before I started my YouTube channel, I would always use this platform to showcase what a SOC could look like for those that are aspiring to become a SOC analyst. It really provided those who were eager to learn a taste of what they could expect, and then from there, decided this career path was what they really wanted. Speaking of career paths, Let's Defend has what are called learning paths, which are essentially roadmaps to help you focus on what you need to learn. As a recording, Let's Defend has 10 learning paths that consist of Sim Engineer, Programming, Malware Analysis, SOC Analyst, and many more. These learning paths are made up of multiple courses, which have various lessons, questions, and quizzes, which again, will help you as a student focus on what really matters. In addition to learning paths and courses, Let's Defend also offers challenges that you can tackle. These challenges are practical labs that you can complete to help you level up your skills from analyzing network or endpoint compromise to malware analysis and cloud security. As of recording, there are a total of 84 challenges that range from beginner to hard difficulty. The last cool feature that I wanted to mention is a SOC simulation. Again, this is something that I used back in the day to help those get a feel of what a SOC could look like. To access the simulated SOC environment, you'll want to create an account and log in, and then head over to practice, and from there, you will be presented with a lot of different options. Starting on the left, we have monitoring. This is where you can find your alerts. If you take a look at the top, there are three tabs, main channel, investigation channel, and closed alerts. The main channel, again, is where you'll find your alerts. The investigation channel is where you can find any alert that you assign to yourself. And lastly, the closed alert is where you can find your closed alerts. Moving on to log management. This is your SIM, your security information event management. And you can begin crafting queries to help with your investigation. Case management is where you can find your opened and closed cases. Endpoint security can show you some of the capabilities of what an EDR endpoint detection and response tool can provide. For example, information about the host, processes, and network, along with remote access and containment. Email security is where you'll find emails that were sent and received within the environment. This is where you can dig a little bit deeper into an email and begin your investigation. Threat Intel, aka Threat Intelligence, is your centralized platform that will help provide additional context to indicators such as URLs, domains, IPs, and hashes. Lastly, we have Sandbox, which is an environment where you can analyze malware to obtain additional IOCs, indicators of compromise, and or review the behaviors of a particular malware. Now that you know a little bit more about Let's Defend and what they offer, let's go over how you can take advantage of this platform for free to then help you build the skills to get you closer to becoming a SOC analyst. Number one, SOC analyst learning path. As a free member, you actually have access to some of the courses that are under the SOC Analyst Learning Path, and I would recommend that you go over them to help you gain a better understanding. And any of the courses that you find that are locked, you can then go ahead and research them to learn more about them or use the insane discount code that I'll provide later on in the video to help you unlock additional courses. Number two, challenges. If you recall, challenges are practical labs that you can tackle to help you gain hands-on experience. As a beginner, you'll want to filter for the role of security analyst and the skill level of beginner or easy. And then try and complete as many as you possibly can while documenting your findings and lessons learned. A cool feature that Let's Defend provides students is the ability to spin up a browser-based virtual machine to then complete the labs. What that means is that a student doesn't require a beefy machine and anyone with an internet connection can try their hands on these challenges. 
The more challenges that you complete and the more confident you are, you can then start increasing the difficulty and try medium or hard. And once you are satisfied with those, you can then move on to different roles such as incident responder, DFIR, detection engineer, or cloud security engineer. However, do note that although these challenges are free, being on the free plan will allow you with 10 hours of access per month, which can be quite limiting. Whereas if you were to upgrade your membership to VIP, you get 140 hours and VIP plus grants you with unlimited access. Number three, simulated SOC environment. With a free plan, you actually get access to the simulated SOC environment with limited alerts, which to be honest is quite generous and should be enough to help you get a sense of what you can expect. Again, to access the environment, you must log in and then click on practice and go from there. To assign an alert to yourself, you simply click on the person icon on your right and then select confirm. Once you have assigned the alert, you can then click into the investigation channel on the top to find it. From there, you have the option to create a case or close the alert. If you create a case, this is where you can follow a playbook that was created by Let's Defend to help you with your investigation. I am confident that you can learn what is required to become a SOC analyst by doing the three things that I just mentioned, all for free. But again, do note that a free account does have its limitations, such as 10 hours of access a month and certain courses are locked unless you upgrade your membership. Speaking of membership, let's talk about pricing. Let's Defend offers pricing for individuals, students, and teams, aka enterprise. With individuals and students, a VIP monthly membership costs $16.58 USD if you pay annually, and $24.99 if you choose to pay monthly. As for VIP+, Plus, this is $29.92 a month for the annual routes, and $39.99 for the monthly route. If you are a student, Let's Defend offers a generous 50% discount if you sign up using your student email address. As for teams, Let's Defend charges $420 a seat with a minimum of two seats. If you stuck with me till the end, here's the discount code that Let's Defend has created for me for Black Friday. If you use the discount code myd for 55 during checkout, you'll get a 55% discount on annual plans, and it will last until you cancel your subscription. In other words, you get to continue to renew at a discounted price until you cancel. And yes, if you're a student, this will also stack on top of your 50% discount for even more savings. But there is a caveat. This discount code will expire in two weeks, aka November 29th. So if your goal is to become a SOC analyst and you have a small budget, I would highly recommend that you utilize the discount code and upgrade your membership to either VIP or VIP Plus to fully take advantage of what Let's Defend has to offer. And that is it for the video. And thank you again to Let's Defend for sponsoring this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you plan on using Let's Defend to level up your skills. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.